Hello, my name is Glenn from GSS Videos and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about my DVR, my CCTV, CCTV DVR. Right, this is the manufacturer, or I must say is uh, a load of rubbish. I tried contacting them when I had no pro when I had um, well, when I had problems with them, so not no problems, but I had no pro problems with my cameras, my DVR. I dry contacting these people here. It gives me it gives me no no phone numbers. It doesn't give me any phone numbers on there, all right, to contact them. They don't give me a phone number, and then they ask me to contact them um, through the phone line. Uh, go contacting them at China, right? I'm let alone I'm in King uh, I'm in uh, Kings in Norfolk in the United Kingdom, right? So it's going to cost me an arm and bloody leg to contact them, right? I contacted them through Skype, so I can video call them, right? The next best thing, right? Um, but when you try to video call them, they so they'll be on camera and they can see what messages it is, messages it was showing me, um, what the problem was, did you, right? This is the decline, they declined the video calls saying that they're in the meeting. That's happened more than three times. I've tried to call, call them more than three times on different days, right? Um, so they are not, they obviously don't know how to run a bloody company. Because how can you be, no one who runs a booking company will be in all these booking meetings, right? I'll try calling them, or, or calling them on, say, um, Skype, about three or four times in the same week, to get, taking the fact that there was in meetings on the first day, but there's plenty of meetings again, right? Um, so, I tried to tell them, they gave me all these stupid fucking codes to try, so I tried them, because that's the manufacturers of this, of these, this DVR, right? The manufacturers telling me to do this, so I've done it, right? Then, I then found out, when I had these people come round, a guy called Wayne, right? He, he unscrewed it the top, this, right? And we found out we had no um, hard drive, right? I purchased the hard drive from this guy Wayne, these people, right? For 30 quid. It feels like it's working because it, I can feel the slight vibration to it. Um, I've tried, when, it, when it's asking me to say, my device, my DVR wants to reset, I gave me the choice to have a council, not reset, um, to reboot. It gave me a first thing you want to say, you want to re re reboot, and it gave me the option to say, OK, or council. Like anybody else, I clicked OK. Right? And it got to this screen here, got to here, and then it stopped. And it's been there every se ever since. Right, I then tried, been told to try disconnect it all, um, rebooting it without the um, internet cable plugged in. I tried, been told to try rebooting it without the the, the hard drive connected. So I tried that. I tried to, I've been told to have this unplugged, it's disconnected, and then and the the the. Uh, hard drive um, disconnected, so I tried that. I tried been told to having that having the disconnecting the hard drive and having that connected. So I tried I've tried everything. I even tried dis uh, disconnecting everything, leaving it um, and unplugging the BIOS battery um, so it completely sort of resets. It still doesn't, it gets here, it doesn't want to know. Right, um, I'm now think, thinking that these guys here are fly by now. They, uh, they obviously don't know um, how to 
that work with their how their their products work because they can't help me. They want me to contact their their um, customer service. I'm in I'm in England. I'm in the United Kingdom. I am I I'll be effed if I'm going to phone China where it costs a lot of money. I'm in supported housing and I've bought these, right? Because where I am in supported housing, we've had we saw nothing but bad ongoings here with passers by, right? So I bought them, bought these to be safe, and so not just that like I'm safe, but my neighbours are safe, my my support workers are safe. Um, still doesn't want to work, right? So yeah, that's why I bought these cameras, right? Um, I then purchased. I found these people on Facebook. These guys on Facebook. Um, I checked them out. They do have a website. There, they do have a landline landline number as well. Um, they've got, I say, a good-looking business card, so um, they look legit. But when you kind of contact them, they don't want to know. They offer sales a shit. Right? Um, they are for sales of shit, their customers are, customer services is shit. Because as soon as the guy came out and talked about the, um, the hard drive, he even said that these people were shit. Yes, I'm bummed that out myself, I don't need them to tell me. <laughs> but I'd like to say, but especially when someone like him, who is obviously also shit because he's not contacting me whatsoever, right? he didn't even charge me, for, these guys didn't even charge me for a call out. Right, and if if your company you got to call, get, you're going to charge your customer or right, punt or out, whatever you want to call it, customer punt or whatever. Right, if you're going to call, if one of us calls, someone calls a company out on a call out, normally they charge for not a call out, don't they? Right. Um. But all I know now, they did call me out to give me a, a call out. I call that B. They said it's in, the, it's in Kings Lynn. If we said, I'm in Kings Lynn um, this week, or the whole of this week, if you want me to, I can pop in and uh, see ya. And, or you won't need to have a, you won't have a call out B. So all right then, all right then. So he birded it like that. So I thought, ooh, it's done me a favour. Right? So it made me sound like, ooh, he's not, seems like a nice guy. But, now look at this. It doesn't want to reboot any more than what it has. Um, the, 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 it does seem to be the hard drive seems to might be far away in saying it's working. It's doing something, but it's not allowing to. Um, it's being formatted because we're taking it out out of here and then stuck it into my neighbour's computer. He's got an extra slot to so we can reformat it. We saw how much footage we had on that computer. And we watched them. We saw them. Right. They, it was recording. Um, but it's not recording now. Don't know why, what's going on with it. I've even tried uh, disconnecting it from this monitor and put it on, on my TV as well. And it's still coming up with this. Start off screen, right? Um, so I don't know what's going on here. All I know is that these guys here are a load of cross cross wallet. They don't want to help their cost their customer service is a load of crap. They decline calls when you find, when, when someone from a different country to them is contacted them for say for instance, a Skype call and if so they can see the problem. They shouldn't know. They shouldn't have to give. They shouldn't just guess about. Oh, try this. Try that. Try this. Because it could be. It could be them. Of DVR. It could be. This. This. Um. Hard drive that sparked the DVR because this DVR was recording on my laptop that I got located at the other side of the room. I've got two laptops, right? And I've got. I'm using one to record using my DVR. Now I can't even do that. Alright. 
But this is actually, it's still sort of telling me, it's far by it's telling me that the, the it's telling me that the um, hard drive is working, because it can feel the vibrations, but it's not communicating. It doesn't seem to be communicating all that, all that great. Um, I tried, like I said, rebooting it without this plugged in. I tried rebooting it with it plugged in. I tried rebooting it with, with the hard drive disconnected. I tried rebooting it with it connected. I tried rebooting it, turning it off, leaving it for a little while, like for like a minute, two hours, leaving it for a whole night unplugged, right? And then plugged it back in. Still no help. No, it's still no good, right? Um, I tried everything. It doesn't want to work. So, if you, got, if you guys, if any of you guys know anything about these guys here, please comment below on my video or tweet me, private tweet me, or private message me on Facebook, GSS videos on Facebook, GSS videos on Twitter, GSS, GSS videos on Instagram, and GSS videos on YouTube. That's GSS videos, right? GSS videos on Facebook, GSS videos on Instagram, GSS videos on Twitter and on YouTube. So please, please, just message me. Comment on my video, comment or tweet me, message me. I just need some help. I'm begging you guys. Um, I need some help. Is there, is, there, how, is there a way I can go uh, into that, the mod, that the, the safe mod, or uh, do we go to into go through the back door, so to speak, to get to the front door? Um, do we both to get it to rework to work again? Um, I need some help, right? So please help me, okay? Um, with that in mind, I'll say farewell for now, and speak to you guys later. Bye bye. Thank you for uh, watching my CCTV. Um, video. Um, I am putting a shout out to anybody out there who knows how to go about resetting it uh, manually. Um, so please, if you can, it would mean a big, big help. Be a big, big help. It mean a lot if you just comment below or tweet me or message me on Facebook. Um, GSS videos on Facebook. GSS videos on Twitter or just comment on my YouTube channel on my on my um video. Um it'd be it would mean a big big help. Okay. Um these people I don't know what's going on here, but it'd be good be good. So please I need your help. Thanks guys. Bye.